Uh -huh day. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. I hope you all are having a great week. And I'm, this is going to be interactive, okay? So if you can, get a piece of paper out um, and a pencil because you're going to go along and do this with me. Or if uh, you can't do that right now, at least pause and listen and really simmer on the questions that I'm going to ask you to do, okay? And I'm going to I'm going to go through this as if you're watching the recording, because I think most of you are. Um, so, but first, as you hop on here in the comments, tell me what your goal is for this weekend. What habits are you going to work on building and um, creating this weekend? And what bad habits are you going to work on overcoming and throwing out the window? So tell me in the comments below. All right, so here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to take out a piece of paper, and I want you on this paper, piece of paper to think about all of the things in your life that you have accomplished that are hard. Okay. So um, this can be anything. Okay. So what hard things have you accomplished? Um, and write that down. So for me, I was the first person in my family to graduate from a four-year college. So that was a big deal. Uh, I was the first person to go to a four-year college and graduate from a four-year college. Um, I got my master's degree. I did not think I could get my master's degree for the longest time. I thought that was like above me or I wasn't smart enough to do that. I actually got my master's degree with honors. Um, I, um, what else? I carried, I did IVF. And with that, I did it, you know, with a fairly positive attitude. There's definitely some hard moments. Um, but I completed IVF. I, I carried two babies to term um, and delivered those and um, rocked out new momming and working out at the same time. Who the heck knows how I did that? But then also built my business at the same time. So I just want you guys to go through everything that you've done that is hard in your life from uh, school, career, work, family, marriage, fitness, all of it. And I want you to write it down. Okay. So do that now and pause if you're watching the recording. Now, moving on. So make sure you have your list. Now, step two, what you're going to write down. I want you to take out your piece of paper and I want you to create a list as to why you cannot hit your health and hit fitness goals. Now, some of you have hit your health and fitness goals. You go, girl. You go, girl. Keep going, right? This isn't for you. But some of you um, are maybe you've plateaued. Maybe you've been up and down. Maybe you haven't even started, even though you got the pack. And I want you to tell me all the reasons why on your sheet of paper, okay? So this could be I don't have enough time. I just hate meal prepping. I don't like vegetables. I like wine and cupcakes too much. Um, I have twins and life is super busy. I'm running a business and momming. Uh, I just, it's all overwhelming. It's all too much. I'm battling uh, depression. Um, I have ADHD. I can't pay attention long enough to meal plan and meal prep or do any of the things, right? So what is your list? And I want you to write that out. And maybe for you, it's like, I always fail. I always fail. I've failed every time before. I've done X, Y, and Z. Okay. I want you to write out your, your list there about all these things that you tell yourself as to why you can't hit your health and fitness goals. Okay. So pause and do that if you're watching this recording. Now, here's what we're going to do. We are going to call BS on all of the lies that you are telling yourself in regards to hitting your health and fitness goals, you guys. Right? First off, I want you to take out that very first sheet you made of all the hard things that you've done in your life. Now, some of you, maybe on this, you didn't even include some of the health and fitness goals you've hit in the past. So some of you, maybe you lost 50 pounds before and maybe you gained it back. Okay, but you did it once before. There's your proof that you can do it. So I, I want you to update this list also with proof that you're capable of doing things. So if you have done something in the past in regards to your health and fitness, you can do it again. So I need you to stop saying, oh, I did it, but then I messed up, so I suck. And instead say, no, this is my proof and add that proof to your first sheet. Now your first sheet on there, you guys, this is your proof that you are capable of hard 
freaking things. This is your proof that you are enough to accomplish whatever goal it is. And you guys, for some of you, it's literally, oh, I need to eat more veggies every day, or I need to meal prep a little bit more on the weekends, or I need to drink more water, or I need to cut back on my wine, right? Those things are not hard. They are not hard when you stop and you look at your book of proof that you have of all the hard things that you've done. Some of you guys are moms in here. You have given birth. You've went through strenuous labor. You have raised a child. Keep You've kept, you have kept that child alive for umpteen years. Um, there is your proof that you can do hard things when you set your mind to it. And I'll be honest, like momming is the hardest thing I've ever done. Right. So if you are a mom in here, please right there proves to me you're capable of anything. So why do you have a page two? why you have a page two and how do we overcome this page two, these lies that you've built for yourself. Okay. So what I want you to do with this page two is I want you to take each lie and you are going to turn it into a positive statement. Okay. So here's what it's going to look like. So your lie is I don't have time to work out. Okay. When you think of it like that, when you get off work, let's say you get off work, you come at home, you had a rough day at the office, you'd rather go to happy hour with your girlfriends. I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to work out. When you think that, what is your statement going to be to yourself? So you have to catch yourself. And instead of saying, I don't have time to work out, saying, I am creating time to work out because when I do, I feel endorphins, energy, and I feel like a badass. So you're going to create a statement that empowers you whenever you these lies come up in your life okay so one for me could be with wine so i have um you guys know i did 60 days without wine mother's day i decided to start drinking wine again or alcohol i should say uh mother's day i gave myself permission to drink alcohol again i drank for two weeks and i drink almost like every night and i was like nope i can't do this this isn't worth it i'm going back into this negative cycle and i don't want to be this person and so I said, well, first I was like, well, do I just quit wine altogether? And I was like, no, I don't want to do that, but I need to have some type of control. And so for me, I can drink wine or alcohol in a social, social situation, but I do not drink alcohol in my home. That is how I have decided that's what my life needs. Now, I could look at this in two ways. And I could be like, I can't give up wine because I love wine too much. This is a true, that's a true statement, right? That is, okay, that, that was my true statement for many years. I can't give up wine because I love wine too much. But now what I tell myself, and this is very true, when I do want a glass of wine, I think to myself, by choosing to forego wine, I am waking up tomorrow feeling energized. I'm having a productive day and I'm being the best mom to my kids. That is a very true statement. And whenever I do want a glass of wine in my home, I think I, I literally think about how do I want to feel tomorrow when I wake up? Because just that one or two glasses, you guys, for me, it changes how I sleep and it changes how I feel in the morning, period. And I don't feel hungover. I am just, I am tired when I get out of bed. I don't feel well rested. So I have to look at my lies that I'm telling myself and change those. So I want you to look at all of the lies you have on your sheet of paper. And instead, I want you to write an empowering statement. Okay. And that is your step three. So pause and do that now. Now, coming back, step four, and this is where you're going to have to be conscious. I want this paper, I kind of want you to just take it everywhere with you. But I also want you to begin catching yourself in that lie, right? I always fail at my health and fitness routine. I always, but I always give in when I'm around cake, but I always have pop. And when you catch yourself in that lie, you say the empowering statement, I'm choosing to drink water because I know water makes me feel strong, energized and hydrated, which is true. Like pop is pop is actually going to contribute to your, um, the fat around your belly specifically, actually, if you're drinking soda, even if it's diet soda, it's going right here, period. I love you guys. And I, if you guys drink diet soda, just switch. So this is my water, but I've had energizing all day. I just keep filling it up. So it has a little bit of lemon zinc on it. So your step four is to catch yourself 
consciously begin to audit your thoughts. And in that moment, when you start to tell yourself that lie, reframe it. And I want it to be this new empowering truth that you're telling yourself. Okay. Are you in? Are you in? Are you in? I want you to tell me your biggest lie below that you're going to watch for and then how you are going to switch that out for an empowering statement every time you hear it. Write it down. There is power in writing this down. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Okay. I love you guys. Have a good day.